Welcome to Three Minute Testimonies at the Crick House. Hello, it's Jamie again. I wanted to give you another three minute testimony or thereabouts. So this testimony happened actually just a few years ago on Mother's Day. And as you'll know, we were all in a very difficult time all over the world because it was that period of time that we were all in lockdown. And during that time, actually, our family were homeless and we were having to live on a campsite in a American school bus which our charity was in the process of renovating into a motorhome slash ministry vehicle. God had been amazing in as much as Ren Kitchens had sponsored just a couple of weeks before putting in a small kitchen and needless did we know at that moment in time that we would need that kitchen several weeks later because we found ourselves in a homeless position. So with all our stuff packed up into storage and just enough to last us for a few months camping or so we thought we were in this bus on Mother's Day on a campsite and Mother's Day morning the campsite manager came round and said due to government guidelines the campsite was being shut down. It wasn't a particularly great Mother's Day morning and standing here today I'm thinking tomorrow is Mother's Day again. It takes me right back to that moment where I felt fear just come all over me. Where are my family and I going to go? And as all of you know during the lockdown period it was incredibly hard to be with anyone because of the amount of shielding that was going on and we were just up in the West Midlands, didn't know many people at all and literally had nowhere to go. And I remember crying out to God and saying saying, God help. I have never felt so alone and so abandoned in our lives, not by God, but just felt alone and just felt really afraid. And you know, I don't think it's wrong to have those feelings come against you because you are going to have those feelings come, but it's what we do in that moment. And in that moment, instead of turning that fear into panic, we chose to pray. Within a couple of hours, a dear friend of ours in Devon had made some phone calls and within a few hours, she had rung us with the news that somebody who we didn't even know was prepared to let us go with our big yellow school bus and live on their land in the middle of Dartmoor. Another brother in Jesus, yet to become a brother that we knew. Within hours, God had provided an answer and a way of escape for us as a family. So it was a little bit like when God told Abraham to go to a land that he would show him and he just had to up and pack and go. And so within hours, our family and I were traveling to Dartmoor and we had a couple of days to prepare. So thank the Lord for that period of time. But God provided a way of escape. So I just want to encourage you, if it looks dark, if it looks like there is no way out, he has gone before you. He is your light. He will direct your paths. He will make those paths straight. Even in the wilderness, those paths will be made straight for you. So Father, I just pray for those that are experiencing those wilderness moments when they feel there is nowhere else for them to turn. I thank you, God, that you will provide that way of escape. You are Jehovah Jaira, our provider. And I just speak against fear and speak peace into your heart today in Jesus' name.